Hey, hey, I just picked up this eight string tenor ukulele and I have to tell you, I could not be more happy with it. Um, I picked it up for uh, like 80 bucks, 89 bucks, something like that, I forget. Um, I just saw it on Amazon and it was something like 80 or 89 bucks and I just uh, sent the link to my wife and said, can you order this for me? Because she has like Amazon Prime and stuff, so boop. And uh, it was through like another vendor, so it wasn't like one of those Amazon Prime where like you order it and uh, it shows up like the next morning. Uh, it was like a week or something. But anyway, I, I am thrilled with it. It's awesome. I have no idea what the company is, uh, but I know that they have lots of ukuleles. K-M-I-S-E. Kamis, Kamisi, K mice, K. I don't even know. No idea. If anybody knows, and can write it out phonetically in the comments, by all means, let me know. Um, but anyway, it uh, it it sounds great. I love it. So I thought I would like it, but I wasn't totally sure. But I figured for that price, it's pretty neat. And uh, uh, being a tenor ukulele, I, that, that really appealed to me because I have this uh, soprano ukulele. Can I back up? Yeah. Okay. And if you look at it, like the body, Okay, it's smaller, and the scale length, I have the bridges lined up, and you can see the difference. So this one here is like a good inch and a half longer or whatever. And what that ends up meaning is the frets are further apart. So it makes it a little bit easier. I'm so used to guitar and bass that having them a little further apart makes it a little easier for me to fret and everything. I don't have to scrunch my fingers all up. And the uh, neck is a little bit wider because of the eight strings instead of four. So that also helps uh, with me used to a, a bigger neck. But uh, like I said, I love it. Uh, these two strings are tuned in unisons. So the A string it's just two A strings slightly out of tune. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, the E string, slightly out of tune, uh, but they're unisons. Then the C is a lower C, but then an octave up C. So it's tuned in octaves. And then this, I wasn't sure if I would love the G. It's a lower G. So. So it actually, it's a low G instead of a higher G, like a, you know, a standard ukulele tuning. Uh, it's called low G tuning when you have a lower note on the G instead of the higher one. But then it also has a higher G as the octave. And I like it because it, it matches, um, it has that ukulele sound because it has the higher G. But then it also has uh, the lower note, which really kind of fills out the chords uh, with ukulele. It has a ukulele sound, and that's what it is, uh, with the higher G uh, re-entrant tuning, I believe is what it's called. Uh, because since I'm a music teacher, I'm smart and know all these big music words. Uh, but anyway, uh, I don't even know where I was. Uh, so, with the, with the lower, it really kind of fills it out. With the other ukulele, with uh, the higher G, the chords end up with like three notes and a fourth note, which is really a double of one of the three. So you really end up with uh, two notes and then two notes that are the same note. And it's the sound of ukulele. This you end up with like 
say for the G, you have one note, one note. Now you have two notes, and then with the higher G being that note again, so you end up with three of these notes. So two of those notes, three of those notes, this note, this note, and this note. So you end up with more notes really filling out the chords. Uh, but I really like it. I cannot say enough about how cool this ukulele is. Uh, it sounds nice and loud. It nice and loud and fairly bright sound, um, full. Uh, the tuners look cool. They're plastic, but they have like that sort of like wood kind of a look. And the back of them is weird because this is a clear, they're sealed tuners, but it's like a clear so that you can actually see the gear inside. Like weird. Uh, but I like it. Uh, I had to adjust the truss rod and I think I'll probably lower the bridge a tiny bit just to help the strings be a little bit lower action. But maybe not because uh, the higher action you get, uh, I find I tend to get a purer sound, clearer sound, and fuller sound out of the strings. When they're closer to the frets, they don't seem to vibrate as much, and sometimes they might hit a fret, which then of course impedes the, the pure vibration of the string, the pure vibration of the note. Uh, so I might just leave it, I don't know, I'll figure it out. But um, I did have to try, uh, adjust the truss rod. And now the tuning, it's out of tune. I've had this for like a week, and every single time I pick it up, I have to retune it. The strings are just taking forever to stretch out. And that's of no fault at all of anybody, except that they're plastic nylon strings, except for the low G is a wound string. But um, they are just, it's taking forever to stretch out all eight of them. Every time I pick it up, it's like, ah, all out of tune. And some of it is like way out of tune. Like the high C note, a lot of times is like a B or like a B flat when I pick it up. So I have to like go to get it up, back up to a C again. So it's out of tune again, but oh well. Um, so, not only do I really like this, it feels great, um, it has like a satin finish so it's nice and smooth, uh, not only do I really like this whole ukulele, it came with stuff, so uh, it came with a fairly nice thickly foam padded case. I was really impressed, uh, my other ukulele came with a really thin plastic flimsy zipper case like no padding at all so I went and got an actual hard case for it figuring and bringing it back and forth to work and stuff uh, but anyway a really nice case uh, kind of a bummer is that this zipper right out of the box is broken see it's missing the little tab but you know what for the price I paid I'm not going to go and complain and return it and everything. Uh, it came with an extra set of strings. It came with some picks. It came with a, uh, I'm just checking to see if the little uh, zipper thing is in here. It's not. Uh, it came with a strap, which my other one, uh, I don't have a strap and I'm not really keen on drilling holes into it to put on strap buttons just because, uh, you know, most of the time I'm playing and I'm just sitting there going, so I don't even need a strap or anything, it's just sitting on my lap, but uh, whatever. Um, this, it already has the strap buttons in it, so I'm not like ruining or potentially ruining an instrument by drilling holes in it and stuff. Uh, so, strap's nice and handy. It came with all this great stuff, so uh, I think it was 
for some reason I, I think it was 80 but now I really think it might have been 89 bucks so let's call it 90 bucks the case has got to be like what 15 or 20 bucks I don't know it's, it's a nice thick padded case and strap and the picks and an extra set of strings and all that I know that they're getting them super wholesale but if I needed to buy an extra set of strings if I needed to buy a separate case if I needed to buy all of that stuff might end up being like 50 bucks so if you think of it that way I got this ukulele for like 40 bucks <laughs> uh, but anyway I really like it it's really cool and uh, I would definitely recommend this brand I don't even I don't know how to pronounce it um, oh the model is M I three one five seven so M as in Mary I as in igloo three one five seven is the model but I totally dig it <coughs> <coughs>